Hey everybody, welcome back to Superliminal. We're continuing off my first look from the other day because I'm a bit curious about what other puzzles we'll see. Plus, I think this game's not too long, so it'll be a nice little short thingy. When we last left off, we got to this room here, but the door is non-existent, so we have to find some way around this. There is a very nice moon here, which we can take. But why? Oh, that's ins- <laughs> what? Hey, there's something on top. Oh. Is that like a tape or what is that? And it doesn't fall down. This thing just keeps floating. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, Please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Well, I don't see my parents yet, so that's a good sign. There is a door here, the exit. Oh my god, wait, do you want me to like... Oh! Oh, wow, wait, but does that only work if I face it over there? What if I just put it down here? Yeah, no, I don't have to put it over there. Anywhere works. All right, let's go. Oh my god, that's insane. We found the exit on the moon. Oh. Oh, but the, the way I did it made the proportions of the room really big. Is that okay? I feel like maybe I should be making this a tad smaller, and that's probably why they have a frame here to make sure that I make it the right proportions. Like this? Close enough. Wow, even the proportions are affected. Don't get lost. Exit, exit, exit. What if there's a fire in the elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Beer found, $5. Three to five dreams, really? It seems like an awful lot. Seize the day. What? We're back here again. Did the time change though? Because I thought it was 3 a.m. last time. Maybe this is the whole thing about how there's multiple dreams per night. Seems similar enough so far. Down to the machine. Down to the soda. Ooh. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions oh. imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry. I can make it up to you, maybe. By going through the proper channels again? Uh, the exit's over there, but we have a room here. Curators only. Hey, this is the dice that they were talking about on the sign, right? We can use it as a stepping thing, but is there anything back here? Perception is reality, your friendly doctor. P.S. will get through this. It's March 1991 right now? Is that so? Hmm. Some electronic schematics? that are not even in English. Hmm. Well, we can probably make this a little bit bigger. Oh, that's right. Distance is kind of hard to account for, because things in this world just don't work according to how you normally think it would work. Should I bring that with me? Oh, they're apples. Huh, the little green spots. Okay. Another one? Ooh, what? Oh. 
what's beyond here, though? Go back and fall in the hole? <laughs> do you want me to do that specifically? No, we're not allowed to cross here. Okay, I'll do that. Maybe I can bring the cover with me, too. No, this is another non-standard place. They're not gonna like this. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once with this stand? threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. <laughs> the pop breaks open. Ooh, okay. Is that a sign of the overload? These dice don't look quite right. Oh, mm, a tad bigger. That works. <laughs> they always try to trick me. But that means I have no dice here. Is that okay? Yes, it is. These ones are real, right? Okay. There is a vent there. There is also a vent here. And the exit's over there. Should I be trying to reach the vent or just this place? Oh? Whoa! Oh! Oh, whoa. Okay, these work a little bit differently. Maybe I can do this? Hey! What does that mean? I can bring it up all the way to the top, but these cubes are stuck to their thing, so the perspective is stuck? It doesn't seem like you can open the vent. Weird, how come the, the one is a chess piece? Hmm. Anyway though, I still gotta figure out how to get out of here. I can even make it go away entirely. Mmm, we gotta get to the exit there. And there's only three cubes, but they're all stuck to this little pillar thing. This is a weird one. Oh, they're finally trying to throw some curveballs at me here. Let's see. Well, we can't bring any other cubes inside because of the barrier here. So let's not think about that. We have to use these three pillars somehow. How about... Yeah. Is that enough? It is. Oh, okay. Maybe they're just getting me used to the concept. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Oh! Please exit this dream as soon as possible. I'll try my best, lady. As long as these cute pieces work, what? What do you want me to do? Oh god. But we can probably do this, right? Just kind of stack it against the wall here. Yeah. This is simple enough. <gasps> or not. Okay, but that's okay because I can still use one of these cubes individually. And even then, I could just climb on here too, right? Yes. Hey, what are you gonna do now? Oh, what? They don't even bother putting these behind exit signs anymore. This is nothing. That's nothing. Okay, well, let's go. Oh! I'm the jack in the box. Am I almost done with this dream? Another elevator? I'm guessing each time we see the elevator, it's one complete level. Emotions, expectations, highly affects dreams. Dream layers of the mind. There's multiple. We are on level 3 layer. And there's 7 more layers, I guess. It's kind of like a block of cheese. Testers. Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith. <laughs> so far. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Yeah, that, that's true. 
In the dream landscape, it's kind of this place where anything flies, but we usually still tend to just think about things that we've seen during the day. We don't usually start dreaming up stuff like fire-breathing dragons or whatever. Five o'clock. Oh, I feel like we're doing pretty good here on the time. Kind of blazing through these. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Oh god. That's right. We're not really here for fun and giggles. We're here because we want to solve this issue of self-worthlessness we have, apparently. And... The emergency generator is this way. Ah, I feel like we've seen this one before. A fake door? Oh! What? It's a freezer. Why is it suddenly so scary? Hello? <gasps> I think the door behind me closed. Murder, murder, murderer. What? <laughs> Sunday beans. Okay. Do you mind turning on the lights or something? It's a little bit dark here. Although I think there's a reason why they want me to look upwards. Why the upper section is lit? Uh oh. Well, as always, we should probably find an object that we can manipulate first. Or... Oh. Or not. Okay, this works. Is this the kind of thing I'm dreaming about? Or are they injecting this into my brain to try to help me? Okay, that's not scary at all. Oh, oh, diet! <laughs> I thought it said die. That's on purpose, right? If you look at it like this, it totally looks like die. Especially after seeing that chalkboard with murder on it. Oh, we're back in the same place. Do we have to run faster? Or... Oh, oh. No, there's a piping. I had to follow the piping. Yeah, here. It's a little bit scary because I'm relying on this little red light from below. It feels like the end of the road here. Should I just jump? Yeah, okay. Wait, what? Uh. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Are you trying to spook me? Ah, I think they're trying to get back to the whole perception is not reality thing. Because if you look at it here, it looks like a murderer is staring at me through the window. But it's really just a chess piece, once you realize. Okay. Can I- can I please have the relaxing jazz music back, instead of the red paint on the ground? It's red paint, right? 
It better be. Uh oh. 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 Oh wow, it's super dark, but there's stuff here and is that is that a sink? There's a sink and there is an arrow pointing this way. Because there's a ladder here. Hmm. Just because it's pitch black, just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting uh -oh. yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. So is it like an Inception thing now? Maybe I can break... Okay, they gave me this. So it's gotta be used for something. Maybe breaking the plank? Is that possible? It's very nice for lighting, if nothing else. I don't think I can really break open the thing though. Okay, so maybe I bring this backwards then. Yeah, because this is now a source of light. So maybe I can use it somehow, or... No, there's a filtering mask here. Oh. My god, okay. Maybe I'll put it like this. Rice and... Shipping box? Rice cakes? Ooh. Oh, can't bring it with me. Thank you. Thank you for all the help you gave me. Can we please get back to the nice feelings now? I can have this. But not through here. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's really small. Possible for me to- They can't let me- They won't let me bring it over though, so I wonder if there's like a different way I can transfer it over. Maybe here? But there's glass here, right? Or can I just... Yeah, no, it doesn't work because of the glass. Yeah, make it bigger like that. But I guess we can just go forward here. Or not, because... Oh. What? There's no exit here. Maybe there's one here. But either way, I think getting that will be essential. It's just that I don't... Is there a pain on every single one of these squares? Oh god, I, I need to get out of here. I don't like this. Ooh, just when I said we were making good progress on this too, and oh my god. That's blood, okay. It feels like... I can get up through the glass, but that's... I don't think that's, um, true. Maybe what I can do is just make this really, really big and then shine across? Yeah, if I put it down like this, I don't need to bring it over. I can just have it sitting here. And that would work as a source of light. Ah, and there you go! It's probably what I was supposed to do. They put it up there so that it's not a place that you could have wandered into... Oh. Accidentally? Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. <laughs> are you saying I'm stupid or just somebody who can't follow instructions? Hey, that's... Ooh! That's Ikea! What? Are we having a party here? See, this whole time it was red paint. But because you were scared, you might have thought, Oh, is that blood? But they were just painting the walls, which they didn't even finish doing. Okay. 
cool. What's this? The kitchen! Symbolic meaning and brainwaves. I wish I could read that, but I don't think I can pick it up. Oh. We keep going then. Arg! I'm a pirate! <laughs> new cure design. Oh, new cube design. Is that the one where we pulled up the pillar? Materials, aluminum, plastic, symmetrical layout, table, table. Yeah, they're just talking about how they made this place, but for some reason, we're in this area where we can see it. Portal prototype. Banana yellow. We've kind of gone into the behind the scenes of this whole therapy treatment. Avocado? Self-doubt, worthlessness. Promotes heart health, anti-cancer, blood sugar regulation, potassium, anti-inflammatory. Why? Need to sleep. Oh, oh, it's talking about the benefits of sleeping. Oh, yeah, that's something important to keep in mind. A lot of us these days, especially younger people, don't really sleep. Too many. How many, really? Cloning? Biggest question, which is the real one? Order longer freezer flaps. <laughs> the freezer flaps that we saw between the doors earlier? <laughs> avocados are great! I love avocados. Especially because I'm a millennial. Ooh. Can all of you stop? Thank you. Okay. We are at 6 a.m. Maybe around 9 a.m. or so. We'll get to wake up? We might get to wake up, and then... And then what? We'll have to see. Hey, the music is back! Thank you! Another lying door. Okay, this looks more traditional. But the stuff is nailed onto the ground. Mmm... In that case, could I like... Hmm... Really? Oh, what? Do these just disappear or are they- They're multiplying every time I click on them. The heck? But can I bring one over to use as a thing for the... Maybe. These don't seem to change in size though, they just keep coming out. That's weird. What do I use them for? They just keep duplicating. Mm. Oh, they even painted the thing. Okay, well I feel like it has to do with this thing here, but what? Oh, did you just want me to go back and bring this here? Ah! This was a red herring! I kept pressing on it, but it doesn't do anything! Ceiling looks a little bit funny. Hmm? Is this gonna be a fake one? Yup. But that's the kind of thing that we want as an object, right? Oh, but it's... What? It's getting smaller! Oh, this is the same thing! I can't bring this over there for whatever reason. I can just make more. It's kind of weird. But I can kind of make them keep coming over if that is even necessary. I don't know. Maybe we should go across first. Oh. Oh, I think I know what we're doing here. Are we trying to use this as a stairway? Oh! Wow. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. 
unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways, and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. We've committed. We're going in this. Oh no! Oh no! They won't snooze! Right click to return? Oh. Okay, that's less annoying. But what I'm really trying to do is get over there. Oh, but we can try to use the clock as a thing? If I can kind of make it bigger. Hard though, because it's so small to begin with. They were kind of duplicating. Oh god, every time I click on one! No! I can do this! Oh, we all stopped for whatever reason. Weird. There you go. That's probably good enough. Yeah. What? When did my cursor change to the smiley face? <laughs> okay. Oh. It's gone. <laughs> this game likes playing these kinds of little tricks on you. Now they've introduced this new thing here where things duplicate, but... They don't really... Get off the original place. I need you to get off so that I can open the door, right? This is the opposite of what we do usually. We gotta get the apple off the thing. I assume. But all I can do here is make more apples. Really? There's gotta be a way. Oh, but you see here. I can stand on this and continue to try to go up. That kind of works. If the apple was flatter, that probably would go better. But anyway, we're still trying to get this off right now. Probably... Oh, oh, oh. You can do it! Oh. We probably have to push it with the other apples. Somehow? Is that working? It kind of tipped over. If I do it from this side, it's gonna tip back the other way, right? That's not good. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, dude! Shove it! Shove it! It's definitely kind of moving. Oh! There you go. Is that the proper way to do it, though? I'm not sure. Oh, quit it. Oh, it's a radio now. Hello, the big apple. We got a fan here. I can make more apples. There's a fan that tries to stop me from going up, but it doesn't really work. Okay, I need to bring an apple here. And the problem is, there's a fan. So how can I bring the apples over here? If that's the case. I see, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Because every time I make one, it's really close to the previous one, so I can't just kind of like skip over this area. Oh, I think one just came up here. Yeah, okay, that works. Err. Uh, hopeful, but it might take a while for me to um, get it to get over here. Is this really how it's supposed to be? Oh, it's not really working anymore. Oh no. Can I do this? Will this work? <laughs> what is this? Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, it's too small to get up on the little thing. Frick. Oh no. And I can't really change how big it is anymore, so maybe I gotta start with one that's... Further away, but bigger. Oh, that's right, because it's all a perspective thing. All I really had to do was stand here, and then I could make one that's on top of the little button. Wow. Warning. 
Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Uh, okay, sure, lady, whatever. Whatever you say. Can I get up like this? Oh, but there's too much stuck here. Hmm. Can probably make a few ladders here. Like that? There you go. Do I want to go up even higher? Is there anything up there? Not really, I guess. Another one of these fake doors. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. My introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. <laughs> Suddenly, we're all feeling very unsure about whether we're really going to get helped here. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. Oh, God. To the Somnusculpt <laughs> Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. <laughs> Age science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. It's kind of weird how even though that was completely jumbled up, it still sort of made sense. You can make sense of it. Something something the marvels of the human brain. What if I forget to set the alarm? 208. Emergency exit protocol. It's kind of like a totem in Inception or something, the alarm clock. Seven a.m. We're getting closer and closer to waking up. Oh, I'm so used to turning the corner. Didn't even see that. Hmm. Who's whispering? You had a dream? Nice relaxation room. What's this? <laughs> it's just a random sink on the wall here. Right now, our dream still kind of makes sense in that, you know, there's a room, and inside a room, there's chairs, there's tables, but then the occasional sink, for whatever reason, is here. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Oh. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. That's a lot of instructions for someone dreaming right now, but I'll, I'll try my best to follow it. I'll just keep moving forward. Oh! Kind of expected to die there, because that was a pretty big fall, but you know, in dreams, you don't die. You don't die from falling. Oh, there we go. There's the next place. Now we just gotta make it really big. Or big enough, at least. It's crazy to me, though, how big we make the exit determines how big the insides are. Oh? What? Oh, what the heck? Are we inside a really big dollhouse right now? I don't even know. Okay. Could I make this bigger? Fragile. No, that's pretty much it. Oh, but there was like this room here. Maybe? Ah! I have to make this even bigger. 
Even bigger? It's so big already. Even bigger. How's that? <laughs> I feel like a little ant. This is Alice in Wonderland or something. Whoa. The perspective puzzles were really just the beginning. These ones are pretty crazy too. Oh, that doesn't work. <gasps> I hate it whenever they cut out the nice music. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. I hope so. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. No, I'd love for things to be therapeutic too. I can't put it back in. What? That's kind of scary. Oh. Yeah? This is nice. And therapeutic. I can get behind it. Our exit's over there. It's pretty high up. It's on top of a Jenga thing. So probably I gotta like... Fan this? It's wobbling. It's wobbling. And there you go. Thanks for your help. <laughs> That's a really wobbly Jenga tower. Even a little fan was enough to knock it down. It's not wet. There's nothing wet here. Now they're starting to mess with proportions. See, this door is too dang small. Oh? What? What happened just now? Oh! What? I don't even know what I did. Oh. But I can't... I can't open this, so what's the point of this being here? Oh my god! This door is a little bit too small for me, and I can't pull these ones off the thing. The wall. This one... Can I do something with it by going outside? Oh, maybe I'll blow it open with a fan? But it doesn't... I don't think it opens that way. Hold on. Like this? Make it all big again. Does that do anything to you? Not really. But clearly, we should be trying to get behind this, right? But... How? How do I get you to open? <laughs> that doesn't work. There's nothing else inside here? I don't think so. And this door is way too small. Maybe that's part of the issue too. But I don't think we've ever had to open doors. They were always either just open or not open. Hmm. What do I do with you? Make it really, really big? Break it? Break the glass? It's getting really big. Yeah, this is nice, but can I just pass- Oh! Oh, there's no glass there. <laughs> Dang! Now I might have made it a little bit too big. What? Oh, but this is perfect. Lockers? <gasps> Wait, what? Oh. Oh my god. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. 
It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> Still gotta make this a little bit bigger. Oh, but not that big. <laughs> this is a swimming pool. You see the little dive boards here. That's still a tad too big. And this is too small. So probably, I have to stand on the edge here. Yeah? And then maybe use the dive boards to my liking. Actually, it seems like there might be an exit up there? Or am I wrong? I don't know, we can try and see if we can get up there. Maybe not? Uh, whatever. Let's just go into this one then. It's kind of crooked. Oh, it's the vents. Oh, is that the real exit over there? Across? Oh, that's so crazy. What? Oh, and then from here, probably we can make this even bigger. Oh, no, 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 no. That's way too small. You gotta go for the... the jumbo size. Which is not that. Uh-oh. I might have screwed this up. Because I want to make it bigger so that I can get through the vent, is what I'm guessing. Hmm. What happens if I try to go backwards now? I'd probably just end up where this leads. Okay. Alright. Well, we gotta make this bigger. Again. <laughs> Maybe not that huge. I feel like I can't really make this any bigger than it is. I can kind of try to put it there, but... What should I be doing? I can't get out of this vent here. Hmm. But actually, if I... Oh! If I put it over here like this, then... If I walk back out... It'll be standing on this board here. Yeah! So could I just... Walk backwards? I completely overthought that one. We didn't have to make it bigger. All we had to do was use the castle as a teleporter.